Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft adventure episode, where we adventure through the underground. I am finally gonna go mining. For now, this place is gonna be the official area where we basically mine for ores. It's obviously a working progress, since it just looks any randomized area, but it does give out mining area vibes. But I think I'm gonna make this part the mining entrance. Cause doesn't it look like this could be a mining entrance? So let's clear out the snow. I'm gonna have snowballs in my inventory again. Now, how big should this mining entrance be? Cause I can make it just 3x3. Three three. Or should I make it 4x4? Four four? But if I make it 4x4, four four, it's gonna be even, and there's technically no middle block. But if I make it 5x5, five five, isn't it too big? I think I should start with 4x4. Four four. And if I get lazy making this entrance for x4, I can just do it 3x3 three three while mining. Then if I got lazier, I'll just do it 1x2, or 2x1. You know the usual size of when you're just in the mood to mine. Hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. Cause I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. The soon to be mining entrance. Doing this 4x4 four four is a lot of work. I'm definitely gonna go through a lot of these stone pickaxes for sure. And my pickaxe just broke. Many hours later I think. I managed to find 23 iron ores so far. Which now I need to add another chest here for all my ores. I also managed to find lapis, shockingly enough. I am gonna start smelting these iron ores. I also am gonna plant some trees in advance. Because I feel like I'm gonna need more wood eventually in the future. But back to my adventure of mining. I did eventually got lazy doing 4x4. Four four. I didn't even get that far from the entrance. So I did the 3x3 three three for now. I can eventually just make this 4x4 four four again. I might make it a 5x5 five five though. Cause I feel like it would look cool. But I did start doing the narrow tunnel. Since it's much more easier to do. I am gonna make this path bigger though too. Only when I start strip mining again. Which is actually the word that I was looking for. When I was trying to explain what I was going to do with here. But this is the temporary strip mine that I'm gonna start using. Which I am gonna make this 5x5. Five five. You know to make it like a professional mining area. Which again would look cool. In my opinion. But as you can see. On my right. I started doing the official strip mines. Strip mine, only one, for now. But I don't think I can strip mine on this side again, because I found a freaking big cave, which is kinda scary because I don't even have any armor on yet. Even though I only have a shield, this will definitely not protect me that well. Especially if I have to crouch to pull up the shield. For now, it looks like there aren't any mobs yet that have spawned. Just a slime. Which might end up spawning a lot of slime when I start placing torches down there. But since I'm not ready yet, I'll do that when I have armor on. Which I think I might be able to craft it now. Since I have 24 iron currently. And that should be enough for me to craft a fully complete iron armor. Which I'm excited. But at the same time nervous. Excited because I finally have armor on. Nervous because that means I have to explore the cave now. Let's start making the iron chest plate first. Since that is like an important piece of important, then I can make the legs also. Then I should I have enough to also make the helmet and boots. I just have to wait for these to finish. This should be finished by now. Now I can make a fully set of armor. Wait, I only have 5 iron left. Did I miscounted? Like did I really? I thought I had enough iron to make a full set of armor. Like I literally did the math in my head. And I was really sure. Now I can only make either the boots or the helmet. What? Oh, there's more of my iron. Oh my gosh. I thought I didn't really had enough iron to make a set of armor. See guys, I did the math right, from my brain. Definitely did not forget that I left some iron in one of the chests. Now I can really make a full set of iron armor. I realize I've been saying the sentence, full set of armor, all the time. I didn't mean to, if you guys were getting annoyed of me saying that sentence all the time in this episode. But as I'm gonna say that sentence again, I finally have a full set of iron armor. Which took about almost 5 episodes for me to now have armor on. It's only iron, but at least I have armor on though. But that means I now have to explore that cave. Definitely not nervous or something. Well since I'm going to the caves, I'm definitely gonna leave some of my stuff that I don't need for exploring the caves. I don't want to lose those. Well, 
That's a funny achievement name from Xbox. If you know what I mean, also a time to clean my inventory a bit. And I can't forget to make a lot of torches. To light the way, I'm still not gonna use the iron tools that I have yet. Until I can enchant them, cause they're eventually gonna break too. So I'm gonna save them for now. And before I start exploring that cave, I'm gonna quickly check my crops. Which for some reason I feel like they've been growing slowly. I don't even know if I'm not just used to this beginning part with the crops. Well, it's time to explore that cave. Why am I failing? There we go, it's really easy to go down here. Well, except for the fact that when I have to go back up one block at a time. Which I will eventually add some stairs here. Actually wait. I saw the sun was going to go down soon, and I feel like that scary mobs would spawn at the cave when it's nighttime. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I feel like it would. So just to be safe, I'm gonna sleep. Just have to wait till I can really sleep. And it's morning. Oops. Sorry chicken. Whenever I throw eggs, it ends up hitting one of the chickens for some reason. Now I can really start exploring this cave. I don't see any scary mobs, except the slimes, they're not even that scary. I'm gonna try making stairs down there. Oh my gosh, that slime just scared me. The sound they make made me jump scare a bit. So far, there aren't any scary mobs spawning, except the annoying sounds of the slimes. And I'm seeing some iron here. There's even more slimes spawning. Oh gosh, I've fallen in a hole. There's so many slimes. The slimes are backstabbing me. These slime sounds are getting me really annoyed at this point. They're cute and small, but the sounds they make can get annoying to hear. Oh gosh, they keep coming back. I'm just gonna kill Thesis baby slimes. As much as I don't want to, this cave isn't actually that big, but I have been seeing a lot of iron around here. I wonder if there are any surprise holes in this cave, so I can like explore more of the caves. The caves are mostly where you can find different ores, so it's easy to gather more ores. Time to start mining. You can break a deep slate iron with a stone pickaxe, right? Okay. I didn't lose the iron. Might as well also take some of the coal ores that I see. There are so much iron ores here. They just keep coming. Slimes are spawning again. I should actually try to make like a slime farm in here. Cause in my other current series, the Let's Play. I also found a cave with a lot slimes spawning. Or do slimes just spawn in every big cave you see? I'm not even sure if they do. I can't remember. There are some gold ores here too. But I kinda don't need to mine them right now. I'll just collect all the iron ores that I see in this cave for now. Oh gosh, I almost thought that baby slime was a creeper. It almost looked like a creeper leg from the side of my screen. So I was still trying to find some iron ores around this cave, as you always do when you are in a cave. Then I went up here to get the coal that was here. It's also a good place to be away from the slimes, cause I almost got cornered by them. Then I found like this small crawl space, like you almost have to crawl to go through here. And surprisingly I found some iron here, and also coal too. So now I have to check all crevices that are here in this cave. Oh, and it was actually just one iron. Found more iron here. Oh, is there another part of the cave here? Oh wait, this is the same cave. I thought I found more caves to explore, but it is cool to see the cave from up here. It's a good thing I placed torches down there. Cause if there wasn't, that cave will definitely look dark and creepy, especially from up here. Just thinking about it, it'll definitely be scary to look at. And it's kinda like you're looking at the bottom of the ocean. And the bottom of the ocean is super scary and dark. Creeps me out so much. That's probably why I don't like swimming. I can definitely jump down there from up here. Well, it's a good thing there's water down there. Cause I'm not gonna go back to where I crawl through. I'm still seeing a lot of iron here. Oh gosh, more slimes have spawned. I'm just gonna kill them. Well, the water definitely slows them down. There's so many slimes. Oh, there's iron ore here. Oh gosh, that slime noticed me. Oh my gosh, 
These slimes are getting in the way now. I accidentally hit one. I'm just gonna kill them all. They're getting me so annoyed. So there's another cave here. I hope there's some mores in here. It also looks like this could be a crawl space. It's really getting tight in here. This is actually long. Oh my gosh. There's so many iron ores here. There's some grass in here. Well, this is a weird terrain. It's like a secret room. It's just a long way to go here from the cave. But there are some iron here. Is that the surface? It is the surface. And it's nighttime. Well, I'm not gonna go up there. Especially since it's nighttime. I'm gonna go back to the cave. Back in the big cave and I found more iron ores. Well, I'm gonna go back up to the surface and hope the sun is rising. I should have a lot of iron with me now. This cave was basically the jackpot. Well, mostly when it comes to iron ores. Before I go up, which I'm kinda scared. I managed to gather a full stack and 62 iron, which is almost two stacks of iron. That's so good. But since I'm done with gathering iron, until I need them again though, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. That is really a great cave that I found. It may be just iron and not diamonds. You know since diamonds are more valuable it. But I found a lot of iron. And that's already worth it for me. Since iron can be useful, and it's still dark, I'm gonna need to sleep, right away. Not again. Oh gosh, there's a skeleton. I hate these kind of skeletons. They shoot arrows of slowness. I can't even sleep. You serious? I never have really liked this village more. I should probably do that. There's the monster nearby. Oh gosh. I'm just really going slow here. Good thing I have a shield. Nice. It got killed by their own arrow. Now I'm sure I can sleep. Alright. Well, I should place a lot of torches down everywhere, since now I have a lot coal. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want to support me. And the Iron Golem has managed to get outside the cobblestone walls again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! And this video will definitely be uploaded late.